Hello, glad to have you join us tonight. I'm Donna Kelly. Weather is coming in. We all need to pay attention to our two local meteorologists watching it for you. And we start with the chief, Mike. Well, we had a lot of wind starting to build up this afternoon. It appears that wind has backed off a little bit, but wind is going to be a major problem in the weather pattern coming up over the next several days. And for that part of the story, let's go outside to morning meteorologist Adam Bell. Adam. That's right, Mike, and I am live outside of our studios here in Bozeman, and we have been seeing those stronger winds earlier in the day, as you said. But right now, not a lot of winds. The trees are fairly calm, but that's not going to be the case over the next several days. We're expecting 10 to 20 mile an hour winds and even stronger gusts possible in the passes, blowing and drifting of snow, a likelihood possible blizzard-like conditions, and then an Arctic front will be coming through tomorrow night. That's going to reinforce the cold air, but also increase those winds minus 20 or colder on the wind chill level, so it's going to be dangerously cold over the next several days, and that's why we're out here live telling you about it now before the storm hits, preparing you for it. Of course, to continue our team coverage now, Mike, tell us about what we can expect over the next couple of days. Well, the snow is already moving into parts of western Montana, and Lookout Pass currently is bearing the brunt. Hello, glad to have you join us along with the KBZK News team. I'm Donna Kelly. The weather looks to stir up some serious winter conditions. Our two local meteorologists are watching it for you, and we start with the chief met tonight. Mike. Well, good news, Donna. I don't think we're going to see heavy snow here in Bozeman but we will see light snow and strong winds and we'll look at that here in just a minute. But the Arctic front is just to the north of us and it's already moved into the Kalispell area. They picked up quite a bit of snow over the last 24 to 48 hours and they're likely to see more tonight into tomorrow morning. But has the Arctic front hit Bozeman yet? Well, let's go to our morning meteorologist Adam Bell who's outside the studio with the outside conditions. Adam. Well, thanks, Mike, and you did mention that we are starting to see some light snow out here. Just a couple of flakes flying, but as you said, the bigger story, I think, is the cold temperatures. Right now, we have a handy-dandy thermometer here. It says it's 19.3 degrees outside, so pretty darn chilly conditions. About 10 degrees colder than we were 24 hours ago at this time, and we're going to continue to remain cold over the next several days as well. But the bigger story is that the Arctic front that moves through tonight is going to bring very dangerously cold conditions, 15 to 25 miles an hour winds, making things extremely cold. We're looking for the possibility of 40 degree below zero or colder wind chills tonight and even tomorrow night as well. Possible record lows with that as well. So all sorts of cold weather. And one thing we didn't mention last night that this is also going to be dangerous to livestock. A lot of young livestock being born in the short term. So plan for that now. Now is the time to prepare for this Arctic blast. Mike. Well, that's right. And for the most part, snow is on the way for the higher terrain across southwest Montana. And for Gallatin County, we have a winter storm warning out. But again, above 6,500. Well, we saw some winds earlier this afternoon. The trees have calmed down a little bit. We're still looking at some light wind out there, but as we go further into the evening hours overnight tonight into tomorrow, the wind will continue to be a problem. 10 to 20 mile an hour sustained winds are the forecast for the next several days. Stronger winds up in the mountain passes. What does this mean for you? Well, combine the wind with the fresh snowfall. We're looking at blowing, drifting snow, possible blizzard-like conditions. Then an Arctic front comes in, and we're looking at some stronger winds as the front moves through. Then the cold air hits. Minus 20 or colder wind chills are definitely a possibility, so very brutal winter conditions are making a return to southwest Montana. That's why Mike and I are teaming up to give you team coverage of this storm. For more on that, let's go back to Mike. To say that Arctic air is on its way is an understatement over the next several days. We've already seen temperatures drop about 12 or 15 degrees in the last 24 hours, but as the evening hours progress tonight and we go into tomorrow, an Arctic front is going to move on through, and that's going to re reinforce this cold air. On top of that, as the front moves through for that short period of time, we're looking at winds 15 to 25 miles an hour possible, gusting into the 40s as a possibility as well. Combine the cold and the wind, we're looking at wind chills pushing near minus 40 degrees. Dangerous to conditions to spend any time outside, and if any snow falls, we're going to see very tough driving conditions as well. Another thing I want to note is that it's going to be very dangerous not only for humans, but for livestock, especially the newborns, because this is the time for those newborns to be born. Now is the time to prepare for this latest blast of Old Man Winter. Well, outside here in the snow and cold, it looks like the weather is going to continue to remain somewhat unsettled, especially on those roadways. And I know for lots of us, we're going to be traveling over the next several days. And so I thought I'd take a look at some of the conditions across southwest Montana. Earlier today, I stepped out to Bozeman Pass and I had a chance to see the conditions up there. Up here at Bozeman Pass, you can see the conditions behind me as several cars are joining the interstate. Holiday travels galore are on the roadways and they're going to continue to do so. The temperature is so cold out here that we're seeing sheets of ice develop. And as that looks like it's going to continue over the next several hours, next couple of days, we're still going to continue seeing icy conditions. So as you pack your bags for the holiday, make sure you pack some patience 
as well. Back here outside, just like me, many of those roadways still remain snow covered this evening, so please plan on taking some extra time over the next 24 to 36 hours while you travel to see your friends and family here in southwest Montana. If you want latest road information, you can log on right now to KBZK or KXLeft.com. We have our Storm Tracker Weather Watch links out there. You can find out the latest information about the travel conditions across southwest Montana. As I leave you tonight, I'm going to leave you with the number 123. That's the number of hours we have been below freezing here in southwest Montana. It doesn't look like it's going to improve anytime soon. From outside, I'm Adam Bell from Montana's News Station.